So you might have noticed a style of artwork that's trending on Instagram and Pinterest lately, where it shows canvases filled with thick, pretty textured petals. So this style is gaining so many different names, but it's most commonly known as impasto painting. So this is an art technique where the paint is laid onto the surface nice and thick so it holds the imprint of the palette knife. This technique has been used for years and years in both oil and acrylic paintings, but there's just so many advanced materials and mediums to choose from on the market now to help you achieve this look super quickly. I personally love the depth and volume that texture gives paintings like this. And today I will be showing you exactly what products I have purchased and experimented with to achieve this style. Okay, so aside from paint, the secret ingredient to creating these beautiful paintings is modeling paste. There's a ton of different brands on the market and different artists like to use different types and also mix in different mediums to create their own formulas. So there honestly isn't just one brand that everybody that creates these paintings uses. It all comes down to personal preference on how you want your painting to look. If you want your petals to be super grainy, for example, you might go for a completely different medium to an artist that wants their petals to come out nice and glossy and wet looking. Each medium will react in a slightly different way and it's a case of experimenting and deciding which one works best for you. So you need to be mixing paint in with your modeling paste. This is because most modeling pastes are actually translucent and you need the paint to give it the color when it dries. I personally prefer to stick with the same brand paint to the modeling paste just because it eliminates that risk of them not mixing well together because they're designed to work together. It's also important that you are using a nice, thick, heavy body acrylic paint and not just any acrylic paint with your modeling medium. So this is just so it's not watered down too much. The consistency remains stiff enough for you to be able to sculpt your paste, build up the layers and keep that beautiful form and shape that you're going for. Different artists may have different ratios when they create these pieces, but I find that roughly 50% paste to 50% paint works really well for me and allows me to manipulate the paste nicely. Please let me know if you found this video helpful at all and if you have any other questions regarding this style, I am more than happy to help you out where I can. Thank you so much for watching.